Hello and welcome to how to use the overall similarity perceptual map. Okay, when you download the template from the website at perceptualmaps.com, you should get this uh, easy to follow instructions. Basically, as it says, follow the steps in yellow, and then it's just step one, step two, step three. You follow the steps. So the first step is just to type in uh, a name of your map. So I'll just quickly change it, keep it a soft drinks. Then step two is list all the brands. And once you do that, over here will self populate. Um, you may need to hit the calculate button. So let's just add uh, another player. So let's just put in Coke Zero. So what's going to happen? I type it in. Okay, I then hit the calculate button because I've got it set to manual calculate. And then Coke Zero is, is put in this section against each of the other existing brands. I've already done the rest. So I, then I just type in how similar they are on this scale. So I'm going to make give that a 2. Um, remember I'm comparing soft drinks. So I'm, I'm going to make this a 5. Let's come up here. I'm going to make that a, an 8. And I'm going to make that a 1. And as you can see, I can use decimals. I don't have to round it off. And I'm going to make that a, a 1.5. Okay. So then I've done all that. Okay. If you haven't done so already, your spreadsheet needs to solve or add in. It comes with every version of Excel, including the student version. You just come up here to File and follow these instructions. So hit File. Options down there, and options comes up. You'll see add ins, add ins comes up. You say manage add ins, and then you tick solver add in. If you have an Apple Mac, it's similar. You just on the top menu select tools, add ins, and then the solver. Okay, and step five is down here is simply um, you have to, if you haven't got the solver, you'll have to get it, save your spreadsheet, and then reopen it. Uh, and when you reopen it, it should have under the data tab, it should have solver over here. If you already have solver, uh, there is no need to do this step. And then step six is simply to run the map. And all you do is click that button, and it takes a few seconds. And down the bottom here is our map, and an overall similarity map just maps the brands, and then it's up to us to to work out what it means. There is another video on that. And then some instructions here to uh, copy the map. So you just click it and then copy it to um, wherever you need to. So you just follow that for putting into to Word or for PowerPoint. So basically, it's as simple as that. Uh, good luck.